your boys need a little lift. Hop on in. If you can push the body bags to the back, I got more than a few open seats on this chopper. It, it works like a charm. Works like a jiffy. Man, mother, you have come, come to rescue us. us. Yes, he flies in the executive. Papa Poopy Travel Huey. Set it down over here. These little baby like his handshake at night But the thing they got in common is they both be loving Jacob So let's join the family circle, everything is alright We ah. take the message from the streets, through the church To the people, then we preach it from the airwaves To the big billboard signs, put a human waste dispenser At the crooks of every corner, make an apple huffing handshake Charge a dollar ninety-nine Jake, Jake! <laughs> hey, hey, what you doing in here, Papa Poopy? JYD! This recipe you gave me was a near catastrophe. If it were not for Jalokio and his incredible tracking skills, your Frankenjankum might have destroyed our entire operation. <laughs> I cannot tolerate incompetence of this unnatural scale. As of now, I am placing you on administrative leave. Whoa, 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 slow down, Papa Poopy Man, that's whack. You can't do him like that. Come on. Once again, the great Jesse Yard Duchamp, also known by his stage name, the Jankyard Dog, found himself at the bottom. Alone with his tears, the great rapper began cleaning out his locker at the Doodoo Mountain Commune. For ESPN, I'm Jeremy Scrap. <laughs> I'm befuddled, confused, slightly amused. He looks a little bit familiar, but his face is made of poo. Is this a side effect of Jacob or something totally new? Yo, little man, I gotta, gotta know, who are you? Hello, Hello man, mother, mother dog. dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm your newborn child, Jankyo. Jankyo. <laughs> Holy cow, little Ploop has a brother? I can't believe my eyes. Dismayed by the news of his partner's impending leave of absence, the blind and incomparable Lil Ploop shuffled down the hallway towards the locker room to console the chosen one, Jesse Yardley Duchamp. Oh man, me and G.Y. was like brothers. We spoke of brotherhood. We spoke of love. I told him he had to feel it too, Sperry, when Oxford had him down. I rescued him and I said, Dear JYD, live and be a king. I remember when we both lay in a field, frozen almost to death, how I did lap him even in my own garments and did give myself all thin and naked to the dumb cold night. <laughs> oh, JY. Believe your eyes, man, mother dog. <laughs> Forget about that blind boy, little poop. I'm the incomparable one now. And I see that you have been getting the short end of the stick around here. <laughs> You're a boss. A leader. I think it is high time you took this Jankum business into your own hands. 
That sounds like music to my ears. I really needed to hear that advice right now, little buddy. Uh, tell me more. What do you got in your mind? Saddened by what was overheard, Lil Ploop ducked into the commune's mess hall to drown his sorrow in multiple gloves of potent handshake and a desperate hope to end it all. What now? Our entire operation is falling apart. Jalokio! You summoned me. You must track JYD and find out where he has gone. He will want to know what has happened to the incomparable Lil Ploop. Go now! Like the wind! He said he was the incomparable one now. Uh, uh, I don't understand. You don't understand? You don't understand what? Who is the incomparable one now? Speak to me, little Ploop. What did you hear? What did you see? Hello, Jalokio. What is your status? I'm 30 clicks away from a gorge at what appears to be some kind of old fashioned porta potty or dog house. I can hear the sounds of cooking inside. I'm certain it is our target, codename JYD. But there seems to be another inside with them. Proceed with caution and keep me updated. We must prevent causing any other damage to our organization. Affirmative. There's no way your Frankenjink recipe could have failed. The network's capital should have been more than enough to ensure success on its own. Papa Poopy must have made the mistake. He grows senile. His methods are too complex, and his inner eye is nearsighted. I say we cook that recipe up ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed, little buddy. But, uh, tell me, what do you think of my new look? <laughs> <laughs> YOLO! We are the new world order now. Let's get our cook on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalokyo, what is your status? It appears that JYD and some odd-looking character that calls himself Jankyo are attempting to recreate the conditions for producing Frank and Jacob. Accelerate your preparedness to DEFCON 2. You must prevent fission from taking place. I will send backup. There's no time for backup. I'm going in. Thanks to the quick thinking of Jalokio, thousands of lives were saved that day. Unfortunately for Papa Poopy, JYD and his evil offspring Jankyo escaped into the shadows of the night. Occasionally, pilgrims on their way to Doodoo Mountain speak of a masked creature that lurks in the dark northern woods. Some say it is the great Jesse Yard Duchamp, but as of now, there is no conclusive evidence. Until next time, I'm Jeremy Scrapp. <laughs>